Views, part one. One of the things I love about Interaction Desktop is it allows you to be able to customize your screen. You can add your own workspaces, which we show in another video, but we can add our own views. And within our views, we can add, we can delete, we can rename our views. And that's what I'm gonna go ahead and cover those three first bullets in part one. I think it's important to be able to customize your screen by adding and renaming different views that you have on your screen because if you have a particular work group, let's say you have travel services domestic travel, and that's the work group that you want to add all sorts of information in. When you create that work group, you want to customize every part of it so that you can add particular views that only deal with the travel services domestic group. And you can build another workspace that is for the international work group. And everything on that workspace get all sorts of views that have to deal with the international. So it allows you to be able to customize the different views or the different tabs that you see on your screen. I like to think of it as organizing things by the manila folders. For each folder, you have a different topic and all the pieces of paper or all the details go inside that particular folder. That's how it works when working with workspaces and views. Views that are the papers that go inside of the folder. I'll show you how this works. There are several ways how to add a new view. One is from the Getting Started tab that we see at the top of our screen. We could click on the word View. The second way is we could go up top to File, New, and View. Or the third way or the shortcut is Control shift in. I'm going to go ahead and click on View, and we get the Create a New View window. This is grouped by categories as we see on the left, and allows us to add in a different category. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add in the call history. So I'm going to select call history, double click over on the right hand side, and automatically you'll see my new view or my tab created at the top of my screen. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add another view. My work group queue. So I'm going to go down to queues and I'm going to choose my work group queue. Click OK. And automatically I can determine which work group I want to work with. I'm going to choose International Travel because you can see the workspace that I have pulled to the forefront is titled Travel International. So everything having to do with the international travel will be on this workspace. Automatically, as you can see at the top, I have my International Travel queue listed on my screen. If I want to change something or rename it, I can do so very easily. All I have to do is right click on the tab or the view at the top that I want to rename, click rename and check use custom title and I just want to go ahead and abbreviate this by calling it international and clicking OK and automatically you can see the tab or the view at the top that reflects. After a view has been created or you created it months ago and you realize you're no longer using it or just want to clean up your workspace and clean up your views at the top. How do you remove one? All you do is right click and choose close view. Close view closes the particular view that you're on. If you choose close all views, that means it will close all tabs or delete all the tabs on the particular workspace you're working on. So in this case, I just want to close the one view and it automatically deletes it. Be sure to join me in views part two.